Hello everyone, I am Dr. Bhavamik Joshi from Aspire MDS and in this video, we will see what is eggshell effect. I am sure you all would have seen radiograph of a cyst or tumor. As we can see in this radiograph, there is presence of a radio opaque cortical border. Have you ever wondered why this border is appearing more radio opaque? Does it mean the area appearing radio opaque has thicker bone as compared to the area which is appearing radio lucent? Well, the answer is no. The cortical bone thickness at the peripheries and at the rest of the lesion is same only. Then the question arises, why is it so that the periphery is appearing radio opaque whereas the other part are not appearing radio opaque? The answer to this question lies in the eggshell effect. We will understand this by taking a radiograph of an egg. Okay. Let's assume that we are taking radiograph of this egg from this side and the x-rays are reaching the film. Now we know one principle that when you are taking radiograph of an object during that part if the x-rays are attenuated the image will be radio opaque and when they are not attenuated they will be more lucent image. This I have explained in detail on the video of latent image formation. In the radiographic image of the egg these are the four areas the bottom and the cout peripheries which appear radio opaque. The first two are the apex and bottom of the egg. As you can see, the X-rays which are passing through this area, they have tangential and longer path to cross through the egg and hence they have more attenuation of the X-ray photons. Same way, when they are passing through the peripheries, this curved peripheries also have a long and tangential path and for the same reason, they have more attenuation of the X-rays before they reach to the radiographic film. But when we see the X-rays passing at the center, as you can see here marked by the red arrow, we have to only consider the X-rays passing through the surface. Here they are passing perpendicular to the object and hence they have shorter path to cross through and reach the film. So the attenuation of the X-rays will be less here. Now we know that X-rays because they pass through the tangential area, they will be attenuated more. Hence the top, bottom and the peripheries are appearing radio opaque whereas the center part is appearing as radio lucent. Okay, this is the principle behind formation of eggshell effect. Now let's see some of the examples where you see eggshell effect taking place in the oral cavity and head and neck. One example is presence of lamina dura. Now this lamina dura is nothing but radiographic appearance of hollow socket within the alveolar bone which due to eggshell effect is appearing as radio opaque lining. Other example of the eggshell effects are presence of maxillary sinus, nasal fossa and orbit as you can see in this radiograph. All of them are appearing radio opaque lined because of eggshell effect. Other example is presence of corticated walls of cyst and tumor. They are also appearing more radio opaque due to this eggshell effect. But one thing we should remember that in the soft tissue you will not see eggshell effect because they are of uniform consistency as opposed to the other objects that we just now seen which has more radio opaque periphery which is surrounding the radiolucent object. Okay everyone, that's all from this video. If you have any doubts, feel free to post in our comment section. Thanks for watching the video. Do subscribe to our channel for more updates.